for some reason, I guess guys think it's, I don't know if it's comical or if they legitimately think that their penis is sexy or whatever. <laughs> I don't, I don't really understand like the perspective of the person that sends a picture of their dick. Mm. However, because it is a thing in our society, I've always wondered like, how do we soup that up? Like, how do we take what is and make it better? Uh, and so, okay. So, you have, they, do you have options? Like, have glamour options. shots. Okay. All, right. All right. Glamour shots. Yeah, That's yeah. sort of similar to what I was thinking. Um, dicks on parade, right? Okay. Where you actually like you dress up your penis yeah. in themed appropriately, like little clothes <laughs> that you make for it, <laughs> and you actually like. Put your penis into different scenarios, kind of like right. the the Travelocity gnome. Yeah, kind of like dinner for schmucks. Kind of like dinner for schmucks with with the dead rats, only penises, yeah. maybe. <laughs> yeah, like you could even set up one where it's like, oh, it's the the old popcorn joke where you like you cut the hole in the bottom of right. the popcorn, but you could like, you know, glue a bunch of popcorn to it or something. You know. See, I was thinking like you're going like above and beyond what I was. Thinking. I was thinking like maybe stickers. Or maybe a little bit of like body paint, but you're like, let's make a whole production. Yeah. No. Like, yeah. Okay. I mean, like a I shadow mean, box, yeah. a diorama. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like I want my dick to look like Negan hitting hitting one of the Walking Dicks Dead. Dicks on guys. parade shadow box. <laughs> All right. Like or like talking box shadow box. <laughs> or like, or like uh, who's that uh, fellow that jumped out out of the shuttle onto the moon? Oh, Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong. Okay. It's not Lance or Louie. Because those were the first ones that came to my mind. <laughs> and I was like, no, those are not the right You know, you could do Lance Armstrong. You're just going to have to remove a, a testicle. Yep. Yeah. And I could do Louis Armstrong, but we all know how racist that <laughs> would be. It, yeah, it, but it just completely changes the meaning of dick in a box. So, like, we need to try and market it somewhere else. But, but right, like, nobody thinks your dick pic is sexy. Nobody. No, it's no. not... It's it's Physically usually possible. just embarrassing. So why don't we as a society? No one wins with a dick pic. Exactly. Like, no one wins. So well, sometimes the person that that you send it to wins in court because of it. But that that's right. You know. Completely yeah. <laughs> like legislature aside, <laughs> <laughs> somebody won a settlement. I'm yeah. just saying, if you're going to send someone a picture of your penis, dress it up a little bit. Yeah. You know, make a little top hat for it. You know, glue a little cane. You know, maybe a beard, maybe a beard, <laughs> give it kind of an Abraham Lincoln thing going yeah. on or, you know, there's, there's so many creative ways there to are show options off out there. your genitals. I feel like if they're going to reject you, they should at least <laughs> be impressed. <laughs> now, some people creative. take it pretty far though. Some people will go so far as to uh, put tattoos on down there. Uh, like hentai some... or like actual... I mean, like, you meant like 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 a Muppet Gonzo face I did. tattooed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Hentai is a totally different thing. It's a total, yeah. Not totally. I mean, different. it's a different it's, thing. It's <laughs> slightly different. I'm talking about like a Gonzo from the Muppets face yeah. tattooed right at the waistline. Right. right. And then uh, it doesn't have all the pieces on the tattoo. Some parts are filled in. And see, that's some a, assembly required. And that's a double entendre because then you could film Gonzo porn. Entendre. Uh, Which I think is like rough cut porn. I think that's a thing. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. I've heard the term, but I, I honestly don't know what it actually means. I think gonzo filmmaking is basically where it looks like you're... I'm not looking that up. Please look it up. <laughs> I think it's where you... you it's like war journalism. Like it's it's like, very like, like gorilla. <laughs> yeah, it's like very rough. Like it's shaky camera work. It's, right. it's basically... Right. Come on, Google. To don't give like um. Don't look too much authenticity. Don't look too much into this, Google. I, here's what I imagine it to mean. Before you tell me what it is, this is what I imagine it to mean. So Gonzo of the Muppets has like the, this long kind of nose, right? right? Yes, he's the blue and one. So I get this feeling that that it's it's almost like the the video is done from Gonzo's perspective, where you see the eyes and the nose, or in this case, you're seeing it from the perspective of where you just see the penis, and that and that's the perspective that you're getting of in the porn. Oh, it's like a belly button camera. Sure. All right, so here we go. Because <laughs> that's an interesting idea. Now right? that you talk about it, like belly but, button cameras and porn. That, so, so who's right? All right, so uh, Gonzo, uh, according to the Urban Dictionary, uh -huh. uh, both wrong. When it comes uh. to pornography, the term Gonzo refers to a style of filmmaking pioneered in the 1990s by directors such as Seymour Butts and Ben Dover. 
Gonzo porn took the storyline out of adult movies and headed straight for the sex. So oh. it's just a it's just a sex video, no storyline, okay. no content. Oh. It's just like here is a penis and let's do some stuff with it. Okay. Okay. Anytime I've ever heard of it, so, so it's porn without plot. Porn without plot. Mm. All right. And like typically without you know makeup breaks or uh, stuff like that. Apparently. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, learn something new every day. It's important. Yeah. Why, why that, call it that then? That's ridiculous. Well, maybe Gonzo meant something before he was a Muppet. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe Gonzo got his name from another thing that existed. Uh, well, it also means uh, a particular style of journalism used most famously by writer Hunter S. Thompson in the 60s and 70s, in which the journalist becomes a part of the action, a natural extension of Tom Wolfe's new journalism based on the idea that fiction and journalism are both a means to the same end and that the best journalists have always known this. Yeah, that was my first exposure to Gonzo. Also a uh, blue character on the Muppets, Muppets with a very phallic nose. Well, <laughs> all right, that was my first exposure right. to Gonzo, but Hunter S. Thompson afterwards. Okay. <laughs> okay. So well, you learn something new every day. I so did. Gonzo porn is porn without plot. Like mm -hmm. Porn without plot. Now, I don't know case. if y'all are familiar, but back in the 70s, like porn was plot heavy. Right. And I have actually seen some pornographic movies from the 70s that were well written. Really? Like intriguing storylines, like murder mysteries and shit, where you're really wondering who did it. Oh, wait, we got to wait 15 minutes for them to <laughs> fuck real quick. All right, come on, guys. Yeah. I got to know. I mean, come, come on. <laughs> I got to know who did it. You're really drawing this out. <laughs> Well, see, like, I feel like I want to change the name of the episode. I, we, we're, we're getting a lot of good ones in here. I so personally, not, not I like plump and fun. Plump and fun is good, but I also like plot-heavy porn <laughs> uh, and dicks on parade. Both are both are good. 